from Fitzgerald Hartley, twenty four hundred dollars. <laughs> Dude, they they they're self managed now. Well, yeah, Luke, Luke is doing all the yeah all the stuff, and he's like, why not? They go to Germany and they're like the Rolling Stones over there, yeah. man. So it's yeah. crazy. He is a character, man. Oh my gosh, yeah, he <laughs> he's got some some radioactive something that's kept him, <laughs> you know, oh, powerful. And, you know, we got. So right when he got sober and and then uh, switched his rig to be more purist, you know, where not a lot of p pedals and stuff and stuff, he was singing and playing better than he's ever, ever sang and played. I mean, he was just nailing harmonies and singing original key for all some of those old songs that he did, you know. Yeah. And then his solos were just like, he would take a solo and it would be... Um, just like I, I saw some some really high quality you know, outtakes of some solos, and just his extemporaneous uh, ad lib, um, you know, like on some of the instrumental stuff, Jake to the Bone and yeah. Days Gone Skiing and stuff. I mean, it was just like I was just blown away. Like that should have been on the record. You yeah, know? <laughs> just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, Joe Williams too. Yeah, is pretty fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, can you imagine growing up? Your dad yeah. doing yeah. Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Jaws. It's pretty, right. pretty heady. What, what, what kind of yeah. adolescence? <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. I loved when he, you know, like Seventh One and yeah, all those records are just great, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, Seventh One was a good one. Yeah, you know, you know and it's funny, you know, people 